Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back and today we're going to be playing The Sinking City. This is a game where you play as a detective in the 1920s in an east coast town and the inhabitants there have their minds changed and they are now evil from what this from what the uh, description says. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right. Oh, this is a third-person game. Okay. I was not ready for that. I thought this game was going to be uh, first-person. Oh, and there's hit mechanics to it. Okay, so it's not E. Not E. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Okay, so we just click on them if we want to. We got a folding camera. As you have researched the outburst of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Massachusetts, uh, it turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such uh, cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours, a city drain, the presence of something great, yet unknown. Uh, unknown. Uh, as lucky as it, I believe we have stumbled across a, a sort of ailment, and the person who might help you with it, prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here and help you on, and to help you on your way cordially. Johannes van der Berg. Not a pistol. We get to bring this. Hope I never have to use it. But something tells me I will. All right, we got a Glock with us. Can we pull it out and reload it? Okay. Hey, yeah. I did not. This is not what I was expecting. We got a brick, health. Right, let's just keep the camera out for the time being. Okay, that's how you search. Okay, so this is not what I was expecting from this game. Take a picture of this. Okay, photo of a trophy plate. Let's head out. So this game, I feel like it's supposed to be like that game we were playing before. Um. Well, it's about uh, Call of Cthulhu. We're supposed to be about like one of those now guys. Get out. Oh, all right, buddy. Might be. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Hey, about my problem, let's deal with this city. Let's so do this one. Know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. 
By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorty, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Uh, where is Robert Throgmorton? Mr. Throgmorton. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, I need somewhere to stay. Place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. How do we get there? That's the best way to get around Oakmont. I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. So we got a uh, ride there. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Alright. Let's go ahead and get out here and get into it. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reef. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. All right, so in for the map. Oh, this guy, this place is huge. Just like an open world game or something. Hospital of St. Mary, Police Department, Chronicle, Devil's Reef Hotel. Okay, and that's where we need to be going. City Port. What is that? Is that the boat? That's supposed to be us? Focus player. All right. Uh... Okay, how do we... There was a way to pull out a... Okay, so E is the attack. Did we just kill that bird? Bro, we just killed the bird. Keep the gun on us at all times. What's going on over here? Let's talk to old buddy. Oh! I did not want to swing on him. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. I do not know what he's talking about. I don't like that either. Oh, the game is lagging. I don't like that. Hold on. Okay, I don't look as bad as now. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am. But not this dude looks like a monkey. No way. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Alright. Your features are unusual. Should we say that? Let's just ask about his son. Ask what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I don't know, buddy, from everything we're hearing. Let's so ask him who the Innsmouthers is. I'm not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city. He's one to the talk. Least, but Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. Port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. 
we are the pillar of this community. Not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Alright. I'm not gonna ask about, about his about his face. Visions. Outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. Hmm. Yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you? My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth or ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Okay. Let's do, uh, I can try to find Albert. Morton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. Uh, you know what, Freaky, let's say it. The question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. That's crazy work, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. Tell me more about the case. More about what happened to Albert. Tame. Did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Oh. Where's the fisherman's house? This all happened. For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. Was standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Where's the lifeboat at, man? Still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Alrighty. Down, it looks like we need to go ahead and get going. Weather, Mr. Throgmorton. It's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Oh, buddy. Don't play that game, because I will blast. I will blast. Okay, if you boys got... What you got? He might he got a shot in there, man. Oh, both of these guys got shotties. Who's this? Oh, I'm sorry. I've said everything I know. <laughs> I keep swinging on everybody. All right, well, wait. Something back here. How do you sprint? Oh, I am sprinting right now. I uh, am pulling the map. What is this? All evidence collated. Oh, okay. What put me in the middle right here? This is the fisherman's house. Okay. Hey, get out of there. Alright, let's just go into the house first. I thought we were going to look for the lifeboat, but I don't know where it is. I just walk right in. I don't want to sprint. You just sprint all the time. Let's see, what do we have in here? Nothing's popped out yet. We can climb up on this? Yeah, we can climb up here. Let's check out the back first before we go all the way up there. This, like, what is this? There's somebody tripping right there. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Okay. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Come on, buddy. Don't do not do me like that. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. There goes a dead body. Who is this? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you 
police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what happened here. Why did the dead people? What happened here? Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. And he started to make these horrible sounds, and okay, my head began to burst, and he woke up, and after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams, drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Who was this Tell guy? Yourself. Uh, name's Will, Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth and Lewis Flynn. Paul the dude's just dead? After the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. Uh, who is Kay? Uh, I think Paul the one that did. Let's, uh, let's find out where everybody else is. That's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything, and I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Yeah, who's K? Who is K you keep mentioning? Outside of show some respect, K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. What well, he had a fool for? Yeah, like I'm supposed to know that, and I just got here. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. Alright. Looks like that's all we can ask, old buddy. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or, okay, did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. And the police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. All right, let's check old buddy's dead body out. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. What is that on the side of his head? He's beaten to a pulp. Uh. What was that? Can we zoom in on him? I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. What is this green thing on the side? Pull the gun back out. Let's see. Choo -choo. <clears throat> All right, you just decided to make that noise. All right, okay. Q to print middle mind's eye. Press Q to activate. Uh, T for more information. Okay. What does this do? There's something right here. I didn't get nothing out of it. Choo choo. Alright, I got that. Anything will it change what he says? No. Poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Okay, there's some on a door down there. Let's see if there's anything here before we do anything. There's some right here. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. It's all chipped up, man. What do you mean? Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. I know who this is. So that's what an ends mouther looks like. I don't I can't really tell what he looks like. Just look like a regular person to me. Is there a way to open this? There's gotta be a way to open it, right? Okay. I 
do I get out of this? Uh, okay. Pop this open again. See if we see anything. Something right I'm here. Surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Thing over here. Uh, cards. Short of a full house. All right, there's something down here. What is this on a door? What is that on a door, man? Nothing. There's another door right here. Searching here, see what we get. Shell casings and gunpowder. What is this? What does this mind's eye do? Allows you to see the unseen. Oh, there was supposed to be something right there. Um. Oh, let me go back up there then. Okay, I didn't realize that. I didn't mean to hit that. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. We'll go back up there and look at that. What's his name? Uh, dog. There's a dog somewhere around here. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Let's go back up there and uh, mess with that thing. Because obviously that's how, that's what we were supposed to do with it. Old. Glenar, Nehri, Glenar, Gebhai, Nugulainar, Hafti. What does that mean? Retrocognition. Allows you to understand events, what happened in the past, expect enough evidence on the scene, and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. Mark the scenes in chronological order to give, gain new evidence. Okay. Let's see if this has some force in. So that's what an in's mouth looks like. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's some right here. Okay. Take this, ape face. Oh. <laughs> yeah, run! What's happening? Okay, let's see what we have here. I really don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, run! Okay. All right, so we're gonna we have to put them in chronological order. So we'll do this one, one maybe. This one, two. Take and this, this one three? Yeah, run! When Albert we got it right. woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Okay, so we got we got that. Press T for more information. What was that? The case book contains your main case, which replace your overall story progress. You can work on more than one side case at the same time. Cases contain information about investigations in the form of evidence. Some pieces of evidence have icons that hint at what action to perform. Okay. To get evidence, interact with objects that people combine clues in your mind palace and take photos. You are aiming correctly. Uh... Padlocks and weak planes can be broken with a short, with a shot or a melee attack combat. Diving? What the? Okay. That looks like we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad. I still hear those voices. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Let's jump out of the door. So he jumped out here and dipped. Mind Palace. Okay, so is it wanting us to do something? How do I get in my case book? Okay, this is the main quest. Lore. Mind Palace. Okay. Reductions? I'm going to make deductions. Okay.
Albert attacked uh, Albert Thorman attacked the fisherman at their house as soon as he regained consciousness. Yeah, that was it, right? And then he fled. Uh, and then Albert Thorman fled from the fisherman house after he was wounded. Yeah, that one, right? Deductions. So that wasn't right. Oh, oh, I'm confused at what I'm doing right now. Okay. I'm mad confused what's happening. Thor, Albert Thormont behaved strangely after returning from the sea. He was mad, violent, and gibberish. Uh, Albert Thorn was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Flames for the fisherman. Okay. Okay, so. Alright, in an ongoing feud. That's one. Living wounds, son psychotic, the fisherman's son. Nah, we'll take that one. I'm confused, so what did I do? So is that wrong or right? Okay, Albert spread, Albert Thorn spread some sort of psychotic influence which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. Okay. So we, we're getting these right right now. Uh, shot without warning. That's not right. One fisherman is missing. So that's that. So in Innsmouth of Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of Thor Martins. This could be a reason to hate them. Okay. And then we go back to the clues. So these, I can track now. Albert, Albert and a fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. And I have nothing for that. Chris T for more information. Follow the omens. My eyes can reveal omens that guide your way. Follow them to find new evidence. Okay. I gotta have a little bit better way of like making sure all evidence collated. I'm figuring out what's going on because this stuff is kind of confusing. All right. Where do you want me to go? Okay, so we're running this way. So they dipped out this way. Oh, that scared me. Are these bullets? So the fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Okay. That's one way to go. So they were shooting at him as he was trying to deal. Even after he started tripping out. You walking here? No. Okay, it stopped. I don't see the omens no more. Is it still this way? I mean, is it still, are we still going the right way? I don't know if we are or not. Let's run this way, though. We can't run up in here. Maybe we're going the wrong way, then. I'm glad we ain't got no stamina. I can sprint everywhere. You see, it's got him right there. It's got that. That run. Is there anything straight? So nothing this way. So everything is back this way. So he came this way. Right here. Oh, he's up here. Okay, I see where we're going now. Why didn't y'all tell me, man? Y'all just let me walk around lost. Alright, so we're up in this building now. Where there's handprints everywhere. Let's turn a flashlight on. Where's the gun at? Where's the Glocky? 
Alright, we're in the warehouse. This is where he must have ran off to. Nothing. There's blood right here. There's something in the pocket. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the pl the port, but don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Okay. There's blood right here. The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. So all this happened basically just two places we rolled up. Anything around here? Let's check this. Gotta get some gunpowder. Let's go upstairs before we run downstairs. And go out the door. Alright, so it looks like we have to go in the basement suite. Love that. Pull the gun out, man. We're gonna have to blast. Anything crazy around here? There's that to check. Alright, so somebody's in this in here, wherever this is. Let me get that. Padlocks. Alright, no. Hit it. The door won't budge. What what is it? What the freak is that? What the freak is that? What was this? What is that fish? What is that whale? What is this thing? What are these things? This is some new type of. Is Buddy just gonna act like that's normal? One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Well, that's, uh, dude, my guy is tripping out. Why does it look like this? All evidence collated. All right, time to check out my mind place. Um, Albert was murdered. And, okay, that's not right. Uh, the owner of a local bar in the poor owes Lewis F Flynn money. No, that's not it. Lewis left the crime scene. Was who probably killed Albert left the side of the murder? Yeah, that's it. No, that's not it. What the freak? Uh, Albert fled when wounded. Okay, so this isn't right at all. No, 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 no. So that's not right. Here. Lewis pursued. Okay. Lewis may have wanted Albert dead. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a thug more rather than just drive him off. Okay, so we got that. And then... Uh, Lewis left the crime scene because he was indebted to him. Lewis thinks about that kill Albert Thor may be hiding at the bar in Oak Mountain Port. Alright. So he's going to be at the bar. Oh, but what about these things? I don't like that we're just outright ignoring what these things are. How do is there a way to dodge in this game? Um melee casebook walk it's caps. Caps lock, okay. Shift to the left run, walk, crouch, melee, reload, flashlight, tutorial. Pin selected evidence on the screen, items tab, uh interact, fire, aim okay, so there's no dodging, so we just kinda have to like Tank hits. Anything in here? No. Let's get out of here then, I guess. Can we go up this way? Okay, now I know I'm holding. Okay, there it goes. Oh, so if you press caps lock, then it, it just, he just stays walking. Anything up here? You walk out this door? We cannot. Alright, so we need to go to the bar at Oakmont. Let's check our map. Let's see where we gotta go from here. What is this? The city port. 
Devil's Reef Hotel, Cronoside, the police department, hospital, asylum, library. Oh, okay. So we haven't gone far. Do we need to like go back and talk to them about this? Maybe. I was gonna try to figure out if we need to go back and speak to them. Tell them about what we've uncovered. What is that thing? Wait, are these like normal things or something? So these these things are normal. Okay, so this isn't something new. It's not old buddy. Your son was murdered. Sorry for your loss. This is Mr. Thorborn. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. Yikes. Uh, I mean, let's just... It's gotta be him. Seems like he was a fisherman by the name of Lewis. He had a gun and pursued Albert after he fled the house. Lewis it is then. What do you know of him? Turns out you were right. He's an insmouther. Yeah. Those filthy scum have done it now. When I'm through with them, they will rue the day they dared lay a finger on a throgmorton. Bring me that dirt bag, Lewis. He and I are do a reckoning. Do this for me, and I'll help you with anything you need. All right. Well, I guess we can't get out of here just yet. But does nobody, does anybody know where the uh, the bar is? No. Mr. Throgmorton, now I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible, and when you can't keep your weapons handy. All right. I gave you clear instructions. Buddy, out. You better watch your mouth with me. I'm not the one to play with. Okay, let's pull out the map and see where we need to go from here. Okay, let's go. Let's go around about. Maybe this is the way to go. It is not where to go. Which way can we go to get? We gotta find where the bar is. And nobody's telling me anything. Maybe this chick will. Is that a chick? I don't know. I can't tell. Might have been a dude. We couldn't go out the back way. Dude, those things are jacked. Oh, oh, there it goes right there. Under the, the keel bar. So just keep going straight. Bar under the keel. This is where he's going to be hiding out at. Bullet fella, I ain't eating in days. What is that supposed to mean? You wants me to shoot him? Under the keel bar. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. No, oh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Let's see if this guy knows anything. Under the keel. What do you want? It's fine, Lewis. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Here he goes. You're harboring a criminal. Morton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. 
I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't what me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I ain't done nothing. Tell that to Mr. Throckmorton. No. No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. Here's the key. Take. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. We, we already know about the thing. Dang, my boy just gave him up like that. These Throckmortons must be really about it. Let's walk. Let's be more sinister about it. I don't like sprinting everywhere. All right, buddy. Hey, who are you? What are oh you doing? my gosh! Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throckmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. All right. Why'd you kill Robert? Kill. Albert. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Okay, how did it all Start happen? At the beginning. What happened? We, we... We were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape... He was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Oh, yeah, I actually have to ask why it looks like that. Why do you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, I... I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. Mm. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Dude, I don't know about that one. Uh, deliberate or why did I hate the Thog Mortons? Let's do the deliberate one. I might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Okay, well, I guess we have to ask him out. feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. Ooh. What's a grand family? A grand family. What do you mean? Hmm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah. A newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. That dude is not playing games. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. 
All right, I've heard enough. I think that's I all I can say. Please, Mr. Reeve, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Yikes. Me, starve. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but Buddy's going to do whatever he needs for me. He's powerful. This I need to. Uh... exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. You're going to give me a bullets versus Buddy who can give me anything? No. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. All right. All the evidence uh, was affected by hysteria, so he couldn't. Uh, what he was doing during the fight with Albert Throgmorton Lewis was mentally fit and couldn't entirely control his actions. It's that one. Lewis was under mental influence. Lewis killed Albert Thalmore while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover him whereas Thalmore would have his head. Yikes, bro. I don't know. Let's get rid of all this stuff. I don't know what to do, man. Because, like... But he's talking about bullets. But an uh, old buddy, Throgmorton... He can give me anything he wants. He already said that. I don't know, man. Uh, but we're going to leave it off right here. We'll make that decision in the next part. But I hope you guys enjoyed the game so far. Uh, this is pretty unique. I didn't expect it to be like this, but I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, especially, like, the look of it. Like I said, it reminds me of those that Call of Cthulhu game, but this might be something totally different. We'll just have to see. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.